July the 23rd, 2020. Guys, I know a lot of you are not uh, affected by the tropical system in the Gulf, and there's a lot of news going around, and let me share this. Tonight, Comet Neowise has its closest approach to our planet Earth. Tonight could be your best chance to see Comet Neowise, which is known as C-2020 F3, for the next 6,800 years. On July 23rd, that's today, guys, the Comet makes its closest approach approach to earth only 0.63 au now i know it may sound small but it's 103 million miles away still it's been brilliant in the night sky and this is the closest approach in a few days it's not going to be visible by the naked eye says it's visible to the naked eye from dark sky sites and an easy target for digital cameras here's where to look just below the big dipper and guys you can see this uh Ursa Major here, Ursa Minor, the Little Dipper with the North Star, and Neowise. Remember, three or four days ago, Neowise was right under it. That's because it is, the Earth is shifting. It's just like the sunset and sunrise, moonrise, everything shifts a few degrees each time. But uh, we'll look at the uh, sky map. Now, this is looking north by northwest tonight after sunset, July 23rd, 2020. Guys, uh... Again, west is where the sunset is, so look to the right of that slightly, and you'll see the comet Neowise is here. It won't be long after it appears that the moon will rise here just to the left uh, of Leo, that particular constellation. So when you see the moon rise, it's going to dim down comet Neowise somewhat, but again, you'll see Polaris, the North Star, uh, then you'll see Ursa Major coming in, the Big Dipper, Comet Neowise here. And the 300 degrees on your compass, guys, will put you just to the left. You see, this is probably 304, 305 degrees on this particular uh, image. And the, below the grayscale is your um, is the horizon you cannot see yet. But tonight, July 23rd, close approach. Let me show you one of the images that it has come in. Now, this was from a couple of nights ago, but you can see where the Big Dipper is here and where Neowise was at that point. These are short uh, exposures with digital cameras, and they're from uh, Peter Horlick from the Czech Republic, and it's showing both tails. Check this out again. You've got the debris stream trail that you see fading off to the right. But this is the uh, ion tail. And if you trace it all the way down, it exactly parallels or exactly um, goes straight to the sun, let me say that, because the eye and tail is caused by the solar stream. That's why you get the two different images here. But if we pull this down, take a look at that. The Horlick is saying, I still cannot believe my eyes. The comet's eye and tail is truly long, extending more than 20 degrees into the bowl of the Big Dipper and beyond. When comets get closest to the Earth, the tail should be the longest now he's hoping for clear skies tonight. And again, that tail will be the longest if you have clear skies closest approach to our planet. After that, each night it's going to become dimmer as far as naked eye visibility, guys. But if you get a chance, check it out. I just wanted to point it out. Uh, I, again, I know a lot of folks are watching the tropical situation in the Gulf of Mexico. And so am I. But uh, this is happening around the world, guys. It's a heads up. Be safe.